I'm Bill Scott, and this is History Minutes. President Woodrow Wilson, who led the U.S. involvement in World War I, conducted the Palmer Raids on 2nd January 1920. He was aiming to arrest and deport socialists, communists, and anarchists, and his Attorney General, A. Mitchell Palmer, as head of the Department of Justice, was the prime executor of these raids. The rising fear of communism stemming from the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia, a labor strike in Seattle in February 1919, and a series of race riots added to the discontent. In June of that year, a series of bombings destroyed Palmer's home and damaged other buildings. A series of raids were conducted, and hundreds were arrested and deported to Russia. The greatest spectacle was on the 2nd of January, where close to 4,000 were arrested in 30 cities nationwide. While immigrants were the main objective, quite a few of these arrests were Americans not subject to deportation. Entire organizations were targeted, and there were more arrests than there were warrants. Most of these were eventually overturned because of their unconstitutional nature. One U.S. attorney resigned in protest. Only four pistols were confiscated, although the government claimed several bombs were taken. Of the grand total of 10,000 arrested, only 556 were deported. Palmer's prediction of a May Day move to overthrow the government did not come true, and Palmer's reputation suffered. The American Civil Liberties Union was formed in response to these raids. I'm Bill Scott, and this was History Minute. Follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Making History with Bill Scott.